Um, today my loves we're doing a collective haul. I have been picking up pieces from all over the place. Um, I had some pieces from ASOS, from Eloquy, um, Misguided, H&M of course, and so on. Um, most of these items, well all of these items are pieces that um, will transition you out to the fall. So I am excited for fall, are you? Um, fall is my favorite time of the year. Um, I have so many ideas planned for you guys right now. I'm still kind of, I still have my closet um, with all of my summer things in it. Um, I'm going to transition very soon, but I do have at least two to three more late summer videos, um, ideas that I have in mind that I want to do. Um, I have planned on um, bringing some items up from my storage downstairs to, you know, a few fall items, things that I can, you know, kind of transition into. Um, unfortunately, I haven't gotten a chance to do that. Um, I had death in my family um, recently. Um, someone very, very close to me passed away about a week and a half ago. So I have kind of been um, not feeling anything. Um, this is my first time recording in two weeks. So yeah but I'm definitely um, feeling much better now as as good as I can be so I'm um, hopefully this weekend I can go downstairs pick out a few pieces so I can get you those early fall pieces um, I definitely want to do uh, on you know what's on trend for 2020 fall 2021 so yeah um, it seems like every time I get back in the swing of things and ready to um, get to record in full speed something always um have been coming up lately you know it's just been back to back um things um in the, for the last what three months two two and a half three months but um your girl is feeling much better now so if this video is something you think you're interested in Please stay tuned for the video, but before we do that, you already know, if you are new here and you love fashion like your girl does, please feel free to subscribe down below. Turn on your notifications so you can be notified of any new videos that are posted um, for my day ones and the subscribers who have already been supportive of me. Thank you, my loves, and welcome back to the channel. Alright. Okay, my love, so we just gonna hop straight into the video. And just a little disclaimer, if my hair looking a little rough, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was supposed to get my hair done two weeks ago. Um, sorry, stuff is falling all over the place. Um, I was supposed to get my hair done two weeks ago, but I didn't even realize that that was the week of um, my stylist's birthday. <laughs> so I should have um, scheduled for the week prior to that. Um, so wasn't able to get it done that week. And then last week, like I said, I had death in the family, so, um, couldn't get it done last week. I was planning on getting it done this week, but I didn't even realize that, um, my stylist is now in Aruba. Hopefully I can get this mess of a hair done, um, sometime next week. Hopefully she'll be back next week. So be kind to me on the hair. I tried to put it up in a bun so it wouldn't look so bad. So we're going to start off with the two accessories that I brought. Well, they're actually two pairs of shoes. And the first pair are these boots here. They probably come up very, very light because um, they're white boots. Yeah, they're white boots, honey. But I'll put a picture up um, if you can't see or if they're coming up a little too bright. Because I don't really want to turn. Do I want to turn the? Yeah, I want to turn the lights down. I'm not sure sure how well I did turn the lights down. I'm not sure how well that's going to do. But um, I love these boots. I love that it's an almond toe boot and not the whole square um, trend that's in right now. Um, Y'all know how I feel about the square toe trend. It's I think it's cute on some people. It's just not for me. These boots I cannot fit. They fit. I'm pretty sure they'll fit at the bottom because they are a size 11. But I cannot get this around my leg. 
it just doesn't work yeah these um well these actually say a us 10. so they're 10 either way i would be able to fit them at the bottom um my leg just can't get into it i have a um chunky i have chunky um calves so um i'm gonna have to send that back but if you have smaller legs check these boots out because i really feel like for these to be faux leather in person this leather is done so well so well to the point that now i'm looking at another um chelsea boot a chunky chelsea boot the h m have on their site i was a little skeptical about it because in certain and chunky boots or boots that are kind of like already a wider type of fit sometimes a faux leather will look kind of funky so yeah, I was skeptical when I brought these. I was actually buying them to see how they looked in person as well as if I could actually get my leg in it because it does look very big on their website. Um, the the opening looked big to me, but they didn't work. But the leather is so good. So good. Like, I just wish they had this in kind of like a wide calf. But, hey. Next shoes that I'm going to show you are from Nine West. Um, and they are these shoes here, and they're just a meal. Um, I got um, I picked these up because of my girl Tasha. She had told me about them and had told me they were on sale. Um, when I when she told me they were on sale, I went to go pick them up in the green they have. She also has them in a green kind of like that um what color green is that um i forgot i'll pop up the the color on the screen so kelly green like a kelly green um color but they were sold out in my size at first i didn't really want this color so i had opted out of getting this color um then when i seen them on her i was like okay those are really cute so i did go back and pick up these um I'm going to get them in the Kelly Green because Kelly Green is definitely going to be in this fall season. I mean, yeah, Kelly Green is definitely coming for our next um, this fall and winter season. But these are cute. They're adorable. Now, this is kind of, um, this is a kitten heel. This is a little bit shorter than I normally go for. Um, I do do kitten heels, but I like, this is probably, to me, that's a two inch heel or maybe a 1.75. Normally, when I do a kitten heel, I like to go anywhere between two and a half to three. Well, three is not really kitten, to be honest. But I like my heel just a little bit, um, just a little bit, um, longer. You know, I like a, a more of a, a higher, um, kitten heel. If you, you know, if you get what I'm saying. I guess, am I wrong? Because I guess it's not a kitten heel if it's over a certain length. But I like a little bit of length to my heel. Um, but these are adorable. They are in a croc um, print. Okay, so let's jump into some clothes, y'all, because um, that's what, what, you know, the majority of the items that I have are clothes. I only did two accessories. Now, matter of fact, before we jump into the clothes, let me show y'all. I did get this, which is a perfume. This is the um, YSL Libre. Um, I picked this up in a smaller size because I wanted to test it out. I have had so many good things about this perfume. Like, everybody has been ranting and raving about this perfume. And, to be honest, I don't see what for. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I like the scent. Let me see. I like the scent, but I don't love it. Yeah, I like the scent, but I don't love it. It is a long-lasting scent, so it is a perfume and not um, a toiletry, because, you know, perfumes smell last longer. I was expecting more from this, and I, you know, I didn't test it in stores. I think I made this smell it one time before in stores a while ago, I think when it first came out. And from what I remembered, it was a, a very nice smell. And it's something that I go to because I am, I like muskier um, nighttime scents. Um, so I thought it would work. From what I remember, that, first, that one time that I did smell it, I thought it was something that I would love. Now having it, um, I don't reach for it often, to be honest. Um, my favorite perfume of all times 
is Gucci Guilty and um, Alien. I think that's by um, somebody Muggler. I forgot the, the first name. But somebody Muggler, but it's called Alien. Those are my top two perfumes. You already know those are more of nighttime scents. Gucci Guilty is my top, like, hands down. It smells excellent on me. Every time I wear that perfume, I get a compliment. This, not so much. Um, even smelling it out of the bottle, it smells good. But it's just not my favorite. And then wearing on my skin, I just feel like the chemistry doesn't match. So, I'm going to keep it. It's not that bad to where I feel like, oh, I would never wear it. Um, I'm going to keep it and put it in rotation. Um, but I wouldn't buy the big bottle after I finish that up. No, ma'am. Now, I heard the Intense um, smells a little bit better, but not sure. So, moving on to clothes. The first item I got are these pants here. Let me button them, honey. Let me button them so you can get the full bit. <laughs> so, they are just these pants here. Y'all know I have a few of these pants. Y'all seen them in a previous haul in a different color. I think I had them. Was it green? I think the other color that I showed you was green, like a um, pistachio um, color green. Um, but these are in the pink, a light pink. I just love the way these pants wear. They are extra wide legs. So those, these type of pants look very um, well on plus size women, especially pear shaped plus size women. Um, and then it has some pleating at the front. Now I'm going to be honest. Um, Pleating doesn't work for all of us. Some people, a lot of us, um, plus size women, may not like pleats. Especially pear-shaped women because the pleat does pull to the sides. So, it's pulling because pear-shaped women have, a, most pear-shaped women have, a, a, well, pear-shaped women, their hips are a little bit larger than the top portion of their body. So, it kind of pulls. Um, some apple shapes, they do well with it because instead of them pulling, they kind of round out. But, um... Some of us just don't like it, you know what I mean? Some of it is going to pull regardless whether it's pulling from the front or whether it's pulling from the side. I don't mind. I'm one of those type of plus size women that breaks all the rules. You know, people say certain stuff don't look right on certain people. I'm going to try it, you know what I mean? I'm going to try it, and it's up to me <laughs> to, to, you know, to style it the way that it will look right on me. So, I don't mind um, the pleat and pulling. Even with me trying to go up in size, I have tried tried to go up in size on um on pants that pleat, and it's it just still doesn't work. You know what I mean? I would have to go up two three sizes, so um, I'm okay with it. Now this is in a light pink. I brought it to go with a pink blazer that I have in the same color, um, and thought that I would get some wear out of it before um the summer ended, but. It's okay. I can still wear this um, now going into fall. I, I wear um, colors, especially light colors, and this is kind of like a pastel in the fall. So I definitely will get some wear out of it. Um, these are in the size US 18, and I had them for about <laughs> a month now, maybe a little over a month. But last time I had them on, they fit perfectly. You A cutout, a cutout have gone past the screen already so you will see how they fit but they were a pretty good fit so I love the pants that much um, that I got them in this taupe color as well well this is to me it's say like a um a new color I think but to me it's more of a peachy new and I love this color I think it's very pretty um yeah when I got those green um slacks from Wiley um Wiley trousers from misguided I knew that I had to buy them in more color so I picked them up in that pink and of course I got them in this color these are also in an 18 if I'm not mistaken yes they're all in a size 18 and what are they called I think they call the structured the structured um, trouser or something like that on the site but I'll definitely leave links because these should still be in stock um, again wide leg same cut just in a different color and i'll definitely get more wear out of these in the fall um the fall month so um yeah that was a plus um i'm not sure i think they have these in other colors i'm gonna get them in as many colors that they have they are a good um 
the weight of the pants and the material of the pants are perfect for the fall. They're not really, really thick like a wool, but they're thick enough. They're thick enough where you can definitely still wear them in the winter time. Um, summertime, you may sweat a little bit or you probably will have to wear them on a cooler day, but um, I love these pants. Y'all, if you haven't tried misguided wide leg trousers, um, do so. Really good quality. Uh, if I may say so myself, they are a very good quality, in my opinion. Now, the bottom of it, I don't like the hem on the bottom. Um, the hem does look a little bit cheapish, but I'm going to get these probably taken up anyway, so I'm not worried about it. And they're going to hit the ground, so who cares? Who cares? Um, the next item is from Eloquy. And I picked this up a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I wasn't sure about it, but I think I'm going to keep it. And it is this leather skirt here. Um, it has the slits up the front of the skirt. Um, it does have pockets in the back of the skirt, as well as functional pockets in the front. All of the pockets are functional. And I do love that it comes with a belt, a belt loop. Um, yeah, it has a silver button. I wish that button was just the color of the skirt, but who's paying attention to a button? I'll probably have a belt on over top anyway, because I don't wear much silver accessories. This is kind of like a, like a taupe, kind of like oatmeal -y color. It's not cream. It's not white. When I first looked at it on the side, I probably wasn't paying attention. I thought it was an off-white. But now this is more of kind of like a taupey type of color. Um, I picked this up in a size, what size is this? In a size 20. Now I could have went down to an 18, but I wasn't sure of how the fit was going to be. Normally I get my bottoms except for like jeans. Um, or trousers in a size 18, any skirts, any shorts, anything, any dresses, I get in a size 18 in Eloquy. But I wasn't sure of the fit of this one. Um, I'm not a big fan of pencil skirts, and this is definitely a pencil skirt. Um, I'll get into it in another video on kind of like things to avoid or how to dress a, a pear-shaped body, but pencil skirts don't look that well on plus-size women because of the way our hips, our hips to kind of um, leg proportions, it's just, it looks weird sometimes. So normally when I get a pencil skirt, I always have to get it taken in at the bottom a little bit because it'll sit out kind of wider on the hips and it just looks, it just can be difficult sometimes with a pencil skirt. But this one looks good. I'm glad I needed that 20. I think if I got in the 18, it would look a little weird. Now, it is a little bit bigger in the waist. And I'm okay with that because um, I can wear a belt with this. It does have functional belt loops. Now, I'm glad it has belt loops because it, if it didn't, I would have had to get it tailored. And, you know, it's way more expensive to get a piece of leather, whether it's faux leather or real leather. Um, teller. So I'm glad that it had belt loops. I'll just sit, sit it down a little bit lower on my waist so that it won't look too funky. Um, but I love it. I think this will be very, very cute with a pair of bone color boots and the um, um, fall going into winter. Right now, and I wouldn't wear this right now, just to be honest. It's August. Y'all know August is kind of like the hottest month. So we've been getting 90. 90 degrees weather here in my early area for the last few days so I definitely wouldn't wear this now but early September I would probably wear this throw this on with a um, meal some type of meal or um, even a strappy sandal would be very cute but going into fall and winter a uh, nice off-white cream boot would be gorgeous with this you can even wear it with black you know I'm just I like light colors I like my whites and my tans and my beiges and stuff in um, the colder months. Um, some people stay away from light colors in the colder months, but not your girl. I am a neutral type of girl, and I'm not talking black neutral type girl. I'm talking, um, your, just like I said, your creams, your beiges, your tans, and things like that. 
So, I picked this up. This is from H&M. Um, this is a vest. Uh, this is more, to me, this vest reminds me more of menswear. It sits a little bit longer. Um, I don't know. It was just something about it when I saw it on the model. Um, I didn't like the way they had the style, but I just knew that I could work with this. Um, this does have the shoulder pads, and I like that. Um, one thing about H&M blazers, I buy a lot of H&M blazers, but I have to be very, very careful when I buy their blazers because I like more of a thicker shoulder pad. Like, you see, this shoulder pad on this kind of sits up. Sometimes when you go to H&M, the shoulder pad may be, um, the shoulder pad may be a little too thin for me. I have neural arms, neural shoulders, I'm sorry. So I need a thicker pad. So this one to me does have a thicker pad for it to be a vest. Because they have some, some of the vests in H&M doesn't have any pad. And I do not like that. Um, I had one that I had to send back. So I did love this. It reminds me more of a, a menswear style of blazer. Um, because of the pocket here. Um, it has a pair of trousers to go with it. I opted out of the trousers. The pockets here, they have both pockets here. They're not functional. Um, but they just add currency to the vest. So, definitely can wear this now. If, to be honest, you can wear this now with a pair of shorts. Um, a crop top or a bralette or something like that would be very cute. You can wear it into the fall. Um with just throwing something a layering piece under it of course in the winter a tur a nice turtleneck under it but this going to be worn multiple ways <laughs> i love it i think it's very very cute and it fits me this is an xxl yeah xxl and i can't remember i don't think it's oversized i just think it's a more of a relaxed fit um so love 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 this so the next um item that I got from H&M is a pair of trousers and they are these trousers here um, these are not wide leg they're just a straight cut um, these are going back these have the pleating as well in the front okay what I will say about these is that they are very thin um, you can't get away with wearing it in the fall because in the fall, it was the early fall because, you know, it's not that cold, if you know what I mean. But you definitely couldn't wear these in the wintertime. You couldn't wear these in the wintertime. They are paper thin. Um, I just don't like them. They are kind of like a longer trouser. And I already told you that H&M trousers um, always fit me kind of short. Their pants fit me type of sh kind of short because to me they just cater to shorter women. Um, these ones hit to my ankle, but they still, it's just a weird length. Um, the length is just very, very weird. You'll see in the cutaway. Um, I picked these up. Normally, I stay away from H&M pants, but I picked these up because I wanted to see if they fit. Because they have been offering, H&M have been offering um, some of their pants now and some of their jeans up to a 20. These are a size 20, but to me, this is more of a junior size 20 to be honest um they fit i can button them i can zip them and everything like that but to me they're just a little bit tight in my stomach area and that's kind of weird because it does have an elastic band in the inside but the elastic band is kind of weird because it's not giving you that much stretch um i guess because it's not really stretched on the outer part i'm not sure but they fit me a little, still fit me a little tight in the stomach area. Um, I don't, the color is weird. The color is just very, very weird. Um, it's, I guess it, it's, to me, I don't know, sometimes I be feeling like I'm colorblind. Because to me, this looks like a mixture between taupe and gray. Um, I don't have anything in my closet similar. I think I have a linen shirt that I got from H&M. That matches. I mean, similarities far as blazers. I have a a ton of blazers. Um, these blazers behind me are only um, my spring and and summer blazers. 
I have way more winter blazers downstairs in my storage. Um, I even have blazers in the closet to the right of me. Um, I even have some in there because I'm getting ready for a blazer lookbook. But I don't like these and I'm sending them back. Again, H&M has been offering pants, their pants up to a size 20 now. So check them out if y'all are interested in buying pants from H&M. These are kind of thin, but normally H&M has a very good quality when it comes to trousers. I just did not like those. Okay, the next item from H&M is my favorite. The next two pieces are my favorite. They are set. And the first piece is this bralette. Um, this is so cute. This has kind of like the circle. It's not sweetheart. This is more of like a circle. Um a circle design at the um, boob area but it is so cute is this the same color as the trousers okay so this matches kind of perfectly with let me see yeah with the trousers that i just showed you so yeah it's again it's kind of like a weird color um it just seemed like they mixed some colors together to make this color kind of like your, your grays and your topes and your creams but I love this. This bralette is kind of on the shorter side. Um, so it, it is going to show some stomach. So for my ladies who don't like to show any skin, this is not for you. Um, this is in an extra large. It was only $12.99, you guys. This fabric, this knit is just so, so soft. So soft. Um, sole to the touch is not that type of sweater material that's going to have you itching. This is perfect. Um, this one, um, is more, well, I'm going to show you the pants too. Let me go ahead and show you the pants. So, it came, it didn't come together, but it's a set. These are the pants. So, it's kind of like a, um, knitwear jogger. It's a jogger, but it's knitwear. And then, I love the bottom of this. It kind of has that, um you know the taper kind of bottom and the bottom is ripped um the top where the waistband is is ripped this is just so perfect together now they do have a cardigan that goes to this um i didn't see the cardigan in store they were sold out i got this set from in store but the cardigan um i saw online i'm not gonna get the cardigan i don't i i, I just feel like um I, I don't like it as a set with the cardigan. I only like it as a set with the shirt and the top. Um, if it was a long cardigan, the cardigan is short. The cardigan is um, waist length. If it was a long cardigan and kind of hit you to the floor, baby, I would have got it. Your girl would have had it. And we would have been setting it up, yes. Um, but it's a short cardigan. I don't really... Um, it just wasn't fitting. It wasn't given. It wasn't given what the girls needed to give. So I opted out of that, but I'll definitely be wearing this set with blazers. Um, I have some dusters in here that would look good with this. This is more of your loungewear. This is more of loungewear. Y'all know how I feel about loungewear. Y'all know normally I do not buy loungewear. I just don't. I feel like it's a waste of time. You know, normally in the wintertime, my loungewear are jog jogging suits. Like your sweatshirts and your jog your, your um your joggers, your jogging pants, sweatpants. Um, in the in the um summer months, well that's in the winter months. That's my jogger sets in the winter and in, in colder months. In the warmer months, I'm more of my jogger shorts and my bralettes or my crop tops. That's my loungewear. That's what I wear around the house. That's what I will wear, you know, still be able to carry out into the streets if I have to run to the store or make an urn run an urn. But this this, 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 this is perfect for me because y'all know how I feel about a good crop top. And, um, the bottoms are more of a, um, jogger style. I mean, you know, the bottoms are more of a jogger style and not kind of like the wide leg, anything like that. So, and this can be dressed up, honey, because I'm going to be wearing these with heels. Um, I'm going to wear them, um with mules my mules i'm going to wear them with my um dad sandals so you can dress this up perfectly definitely going to throw on a blazer over this 
I love this set. It is so good. Like I said, the top was $12.99 and the bottom was $24.99. Please, H&M, if you're watching this, bring this out in more colors. I would love to see this in a chocolate brown. I would love to see it in a black as well. I would say cream because y'all know how I feel about a good cream set in the fall and um, winter months. But I just feel like the cream would show too many dimples, honey. I don't need to show the dimples in my legs and ass. But um, definitely a chocolate, chocolate brown and a black would be perfect. Okay, last but not least is from um, ASOS. And it is this blazer here. This is, um, it looks, it, it looks red on camera. Child, I don't know because I'm blind. But it may show up as red on camera. It's actually labeled as red on the websites. But in person, to be honest, this looks more orange. It looks like a kind of maybe um, like a mixture between red and orange. Like a, maybe a red with an orange background. But to me, it looks orange. This blazer looks orange. I wasn't going to get it at first because I thought it was red. And I already have a red blazer. But I started looking at the comments and one of the girls said that this pulls more orange. So I gave it a try. Um, I like it. This is an oversized blazer. Let me see what was the name of this. From the Collusion Collection with ASOS. And I ordered this two times. I ordered it in a size 18. Yes, I ordered it in the 18. The 18 was huge. This is definitely an oversized one. one you know how sometimes you get stuff and it's labeled oversized blazers and it's not. This is oversized. This would when it says oversized, it is meant to be oversized. I got in the 18. The 18 was humongous, like so big. I went back online because I love the color so bad. And the girl, this is quality. The quality of this. Hands down, one of the best blazers that I have brought. Y'all know how I feel about my Eloquy blazers, but child, collusion, ASOS, quality. So um, I knew I wanted to to get to repurchase it in a size that fit me. I went back on because I knew that I needed two size smaller, so I went on to see if they had a 14. They were so out of the 14. So I wanted it so bad. I just got in the 16. Now the 16 is still very, very oversized. But I plan on um, even wearing it. Being as those oversized right now, I can wear it with short shorts or short skirts. And then um, in the fall slash winter, I can just go ahead and belt this to give it a little bit more shape. But I love this, y'all. It has the black buttons. And it's double breasted. Y'all know how I feel about my double breasted blazers. So it does have black buttons. And I think it's very, very nice. It has the peak lapels. I love a good peak lapel. That sells me all the time on blazers. If it's double breasted and it has pink, um, peak lapels, your girl is definitely giving it a try. But I love this. Again, this is in a size 18. You definitely need to go down probably two sizes if you're picking this up i'll see if it's still available um not sure i have had this one for about a month as well so my loves that brings me to the end of this video that's all i have for you today um i hope you enjoyed the pieces again i will definitely link anything below um that's still available um or i'll try to find similars because i know i have had some of these pieces for about a month maybe some even a little over a month but all right, my loves, I'll see you in my next one.